Greetings, QCS Build fans. Well, today we got something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We got a new Nighthawk Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system. So this is going to replace the current Orbi Mini system that we have set up so we can beam the internet from the shop slash office over here over to the house um, where everybody else likes to use the Wi-Fi. Um, uh, right now we have a little bit of a gap uh, in the Wi-Fi network um, that we're using to beam it over there. And so um, we decided to go ahead and upgrade to this one. So the, the Orbi Mini has a base station and one satellite. And then this system has, as you can see, it has one base station and then two satellites. So with the two satellite coverage, we should be able to cover the rest of the house pretty evenly, and we shouldn't have any carrier drop that way. So let's go ahead and get her on box, shall we? Quick start guide. That's right. Set it up with the app on your phone. Oops. <laughs> I won't need it later. I already have the app. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so this is the Netgear router. Some good quality tape there. All right. Okay, so this is our router. So, and you can see that on the back here, I'll take off the lovely cellophane wrap here. Okay, so just like our Orbi on our, um, our Orbi Mini, we have an internet port, which will actually connect to uh, the router that is in uh, the office. And then we have a loop out ethernet, which we don't use because we don't, uh, I don't have anything that's actually connected in the shop. So, and then power and then sync. Uh, so basically no different than our Orbi Mini, as far as the router goes. So, so there's our router. And then we have Satellite number one. And with satellite number one, we can see that we have our ethernet and a DC. Now the ethernet on this is actually a loop out. So this will pick up the signal from this unit and then it will, uh, you can use this as a, um, to loop it out uh, as a switch or as a bridge, basically. So, satellite number two, or number one. This would be number two. And just like our satellite number one, Power, Ethernet, and Sync. And that's it. So now this system is Wi-Fi uh, AX. So it is Wi-Fi 6. So it should give us uh, more throughput back and forth. And then we have one patch cable to run from the router to our internet source, which we don't need because we've already hardwired a line out there. And then we have one, two, three power adapters for each unit. That's it. So um, we'll go ahead and get her set up. We're going to take some readings uh, beforehand so we can see uh, where our internet coverage uh, 
or where our signal coverage drops out and what kind of readings that we'll get before we take the RV mini down. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get some readings after we get this one set up. Okay, so here's our baseline for the network. So right now we've got basically 250 megabytes per second down and 24 megabytes per second up. Um, and that is what we normally pay for. And so that's pretty good. That's within less than 1% of what we actually get. So, all right, next is, so this is gonna be the shop where the base station is, the base station router is. Um, so you can see that on the left, we got the 2.4. On the right, we had the five gig frequencies um so you can see on the orby 21 which is the orby ssid uh we're getting uh right about 30 about 35 uh db on the 2.4 and we're getting about the same on the 5 which is ideal but of course i'm practically standing right next to it so that would be to be expected um, then we can see that as when I move over to the house, then it, um, the one actually dips and the other one comes back up. So then we've got about the same in the dining room. It's that the 5G drops off. And I would assume that's because of some kind of inter interference going on. Um, so but the 5G drops off to about negative 40 dB in the dining room. And then... If we go upstairs to bedroom number one, uh, then we see that uh, the both signals drop down to about negative 60 dB. And then if we go down the hall upstairs and we go into the master, we see the signal actually comes up a little bit. And that's also because of the fact that uh, from there, it can pretty much pick up the uh, satellite, but can also pick up the base station uh, because it's next to an uh, exterior wall. So then if we go downstairs, we go into the living room. Uh, so now we're down around uh, about negative 55 dB, so we're slowly getting worse. And our 5G drops uh, well below 60 dB, so we're at about 60, probably about 63 almost about 65 db in the living room then if we go to uh, the downstairs bedroom and the 2.4 comes up and we're up around about uh, 50 about 53 db give or take uh, but then our 5g still is really sucky so and if we look at the speed test results for those same areas, uh, we can see that we've got, um, starting at the 188 download, um, starting from there, uh, we're pretty good all the way through until we get down to the um, downstairs bedroom. And we can see that the signal is just garbage down here. Um, and we lose over half of our bandwidth. Um, so the issue becomes is when everybody is on the network all at the same time, then that one uh, tends to get dropped out um, just because of network overload. So, and the signal so so weak compared to all the, all the others. So, all right, so moving on. Now we can see we've got our Nighthawk already installed here. So the QCS home is the one we're going to be looking at here. We, we, we're looking at the dining room. Um, so we're seeing about a negative 42 on the 2.4 and about a negative 35 on the 2.4 or on the 5G. Moving on, we go to bedroom number one, which is the upstairs. And that one we're showing about a uh, negative 50 db and about a negative 55 db now one thing we'll notice is 
Uh, everywhere now we have really good coverage, so nothing goes below negative 60, which is a very good thing. Moving on to the master. Now the, our extra uh, second satellite we actually put in the master bedroom um, because that's where my wife likes to watch Hulu and Netflix and um, play on her Xbox and everything up there. So I went ahead and put that one up there. Also, I knew I would get the best signal from the base station up there. Um, so we can see that one. We're now getting about 28 dB on the 2.4 and about 38 on the 5. Moving on to the living room, which we're going to see we're at about negative 50 and about negative 55. And to the downstairs bedroom where we had the giant hole. Now because that room is directly below the master, um, and there's not a lot of ins there's not a lot of air interference between the floors. Um, in this particular house, we're getting about 38 dB in on the 2.4 and dead on about 40 on the 5G. So if we go ahead and we look at our speed test results. Um, then we can see starting on the 126 result uh, we can see that we are pretty consistently right around 100. Now one issue one thing I have noticed with this particular unit is it does seem like there is a um, there is a hard or somewhat hard limit on the throughput per device. Um, on this on this system so I have not had time to go through and dig through the settings and see if that's actually true um, but yeah so everything's about the same we're all pretty consistent um, we're all right around the between between 70 and 100 megabits per second so that Overall, that's a really good improvement. Uh, we don't have a lot of spikes or anything, and we've got really good coverage. So overall, now at this point, uh, this system's been installed for almost a month now at the time of filming. Um, it's actually been a really good system. Uh, we do get better coverage. Uh, we get better handoff uh, from satellite to satellite. Um, I can actually be on the phone on Wi-Fi calling I walk from the office all the way to the bedroom or downstairs or wherever I need to and the calls don't drop it just pretty much seamlessly will carry the call without any issue all the way through so that's a vast improvement or the Orby um, so but yeah that's about it uh, pretty good product I uh, can't complain too much um, the only issue I I always kind of have with these um, these consumer quote unquote uh, mesh network systems is uh, one their app installed um, which personally I don't care for because I would rather have far more control over everything um, and to actually get into um, the uh, web-based interface uh, is some uh, on some of these is a total pain in the butt so or it takes a desktop application to actually be able to do it so that's the only thing I would like to see changed on these um, is so you get into some of the more of the advanced features actually on on the router itself but otherwise um, the Orbi the not the Orbi app but the uh, the Nighthawk app does work really well it does make fairly good easy setup uh, for everything um, and out of the box set up and installed it works really well and we're running on this system about about a dozen devices so uh, wirelessly pretty much all the time in the evening so can't complain really so all right so like share subscribe uh, stay tuned for more. We're going to be back into PCs again. I uh, don't have anything network-wise uh, 
in the queue, as it were. But, uh, yep, so we're going to be back into the, the PC realm uh, once more and working on some more desktops. Uh, also, I do have a laptop video coming up. I just have not had time at this point to be able to get to it. So, um, questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave those below, and I will definitely answer those for you. Otherwise, uh, have a good day, and uh, bye for now.